lawful good Hannah following the rules. Wow, you really can't see him. Yeah, the rain's pretty thick right now. We might not see anything. That's the Honda plant. Huh. That building there in the back mm -hmm. is where I worked before he was born in the first six months of his life. What was it called? Holloway's. Right there's the where the main office was. Okay. This White House. White House on the left. Is the, the Raries. This, yep, that's and the little blue house there. That mm -hmm. was our our house. That was your house. They put up a fence. Yes. And this is the uh, Linear Brothers Lumber Company. Really. Or was. Doesn't look like it. Yep, they re released Peak Dragon. That's so cool. I think this is the build. It's either this one or the one beside it is. Hogs Brothers. It's this one right here with the tower. It's the museum. Yep, Jackson Center Historical Museum. Wow. They closed at five. Used to be a church? Yep. Our house is in there. Pictures of it. Our old house. Uh, or pictures of the house that he was raised in. To, uh, I don't know what nine years was it. Eight nine years old. That was. There's the Airstream. Airstream's over on the right. You can see him around back. You saw some of the vans too. You see a whole line of the vans over there. That's where all the Airstreams are made. Yeah. Still, they're all made here? Yep. Wow. Look at the little one up there by the door. Adorable. Oh, they're all cute. All right. Germany. Leininger means of lining, which means that the, the family was originally kind of like, kind of like the mayor of lining Germany is what, where that name would have been bestowed to. And then so we would be descended from a one-time mayor of Lining, Germany. And then um, Lining, Germany itself gets its name and probably the mayor himself would have been a member of the family of, how did you say it was pronounced? Leiningen. No, Lene, the, line, the oh, house Leiningen. of Leiningen, how, the house of Leiningen, which is a royal family in Germany to this day. We actually have a family seat in that case. And just remember, ladies, you're married to Leiningers. We are royalty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, she's still the, about that. She's still about like that. <laughs> <laughs> the um, Leiningen family, in turn, traces its family name back to a tri semi-tribal name. It was um, the Lines. That was. Um, they were kind of a mercenary family when the provinces and everything were coalescing into what eventually became countries like Prussia and Germany. And um, the family motto of the lines was choosers of kings because whoever the line family aligned themselves with usually won in battles. And so back in the, the feudal, back in the feudal area, era of um, Europe, um, the only other thing that I found out was, um, like he said a second ago, the um, Leninye, after France re-won um, Alsace-Lorraine after the end of fall, after World War II, the remaining Leiningers there changed their name to disassociate themselves with Germany to uh, be a pronunciation of Leninye, which eventually... Within uh, within a couple of generations, was, the spelling was actually changed too, and so there's a whole other branch of our family still that has a different spelling. 
Well, which I thought was quite interesting because if those of you who were here when Tom found out one time the research he did, he talked about us being associated with France, France, yeah. France. And that's when Ed said that, I mentioned that, he brought that all into the whole equation. So I thought that was quite interesting. Well, see, there's, there's a family down West Liberty that leaves the E out. L-I-N. Oh. They leave the E out. St. Mary's is that way too. Yeah. I don't, I don't know the new spelling. I, I, it's been a couple of years since I was doing all this, this looking, but um. Well, France and Germany fought over that area. Yeah, so France. Sometimes it was German, sometimes it yep. was French. So. Yeah, the the Alsace Lorraine area actually, um, Lorraine is French, right? And Alsace is German, and that whole area just kind of flipped back and forth for a long time, and most likely. Our family, the Liningers, were there originally because of our connections back to the um, Leinigen family. They probably took somebody from Leining, Germany, put them in Alsace Lorraine to help keep everything in line. Those are just theories. I don't have any kind of evidence to that. That's some stuff that I've been able to piece together from just a little bit of research I've done. <laughs> There were five brothers that came over here, lining of brothers, right. and settled in Indiana. And then the one came over that we're from, and, the, and when my brother and Don and Sandy were, went to church in, in San Antonio, here the one fellow was a, a, a doctor, lining it, and he, yeah. here he was uh, from the, one of the, the family in Indiana. Yeah. And uh, from that family, and he... Uh, his mother done a lot of research on the lying ears, you know, mm -hmm. here in this country and all that. So we sat, we, when we went to church one Sunday with Don and Sandy, then then this doctor and his wife, and we had the whole row of lying ears there <laughs> sat there in the church together. Well, and that might go back what we were talking about with the coming to Pennsylvania. Right. And then splitting off, we didn't know where all they were all going. Right. Yes. Uh, as I've understood it, the, um, the original Leininger brothers, they landed in Pennsylvania, and then they, they headed west from there. Indiana and Ohio. And you have done. <laughs> I have taken us down the windy narrow paint creek road and I feel like this was a bad idea. You want to turn your radio off? No I don't because okay. I want to hear if a truck is coming at me. So um we decided to take a different way home and apparently we're taking a really different way home. <laughs> and this is, this is beautiful. <laughs> shop and had a beautiful, beautiful meal. And now we're out in the middle of the world. What an adventure. What an adventure. Yeah. This is apparently what you paid two dollars to avoid on a toll road. We just saw a sign that said uneven lanes. Yes, uneven lanes, plural. That's what you call West Virginia optimism.
to admit it's pretty Yeah, except for I can't see a mile ahead of me. This is a good place to get hit. Now this right here would be a good place to get hit. <laughs> so, Ed. Yes. Would you live here? No.